cowboys and aliens and <laughs> romance and murder mystery. <laughs> um, yeah, that's so funny. I just, I realized, um, I had an acting coach who uh, used to say that uh, John Sh Patrick Shanley, that his plays in particular, the only way they were done right is if at the end of a play there was blood, sweat, and tears on the stage. And um, I feel that way with our show a bit, where it's just, these people aren't teenagers, you know? And the stakes are so much higher, and the repercussions are so much stronger, and the, the world is so much wider, and that aliens exist in our in our world and what does that mean for the exponential entanglements you know so it just feels like at the end of every episode it's like your soul is just like fighting so hard to stay alive and in the game and um yeah it's fun yeah. <laughs> um, well, um, we've been asking everyone do you believe in aliens yes i'm <laughs> sure why? nathan told you that our whole cast <laughs> yeah. is we're just like a bunch of nerds about it. But Everyone before watches. the show. Yeah, yeah, before the show. I mean, I, I told our casting directors, I'm like, you guys did an excellent job of hiring a group of like, you know, you couldn't have found a the more believers. nerdy <laughs> believers group of ancient the aliens believers. fans who are like, yeah, we're all really into it and we love it. And we have these little aliens, he's wearing one right now, that we, everyone, even our crew has. And we've got like a, a shared photo circle where we put the little aliens all over our set in weird places and stuff. So it's, a, it's such a fun thing to get into. And it's, everyone's so enthusiastic. I'm excited for the fan base to um, get cued into it and just like run with it too. Because it's, it's so fun to have a fan-focused show that deals with aliens. Like what more can you get behind? Like the kitschiness is going to be off the chain. It's going to be great. <laughs> Yeah. What about the the powers of these aliens? What can you tease about those? And what sort? Yeah, I wonder if I'm allowed to. I don't even know if I'm allowed to say. Did he tell you his powers? Yeah. Well, we know he saves. <laughs> that's right. That's right. There. Yes. We know that there are more, but you know, we're yeah. there and there are other. Yeah, and they 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 differ. The three of them are three aliens right now, as far as we know, um, that exist in our world. They they have different abilities, and um, Liz finds out about Max is obviously immediately off the pilot. Um, because um, they save her life, but um, I think as as the threat of her knowing the secret, as the because it introduces the potential of more people knowing the secret, right? The other aliens don't take that so wonderfully off the top. So that is a big part of our episode too, is going like, whoa, oh god, I didn't think about that. What are their possibilities, and you know, how do I protect myself as a mere human? Um, so it's so fun. It's fun to watch them at work, and it's 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 created a set where we do a lot more um, VFX work and stunt work than I anticipated in a small town romance show. I mean, it totally just throws it on his head. You know, it's like a. I mean, it's it's so fun. Every day, every episode, really, but every day is is something new, some new sort of gag or trick that we're trying to do. It's fun. How can you describe your character? Yeah, I mean, Liz is. A scientist. She is an activist. She's a woman on fire. I like to say. Um, I got asked earlier what was my way of getting into her, and I come from a dance background, so I generally approach stuff physically first, and then find my way into it more from an emotional or mental place, you know. But she's someone who's grounded. Like her feet are on the ground. She speaks from her full voice, and she doesn't apologize for an ounce of her existence. And I love that. Um, it's been so fun to be fool with her and to go into um, situations she's someone who generally knows I mean she's brilliant she's a biomedical engineer you know um, and then she's confronted with this thing where she knows nothing about and so we see her in the pilot with her jaw on the floor you know um, and you as the audience are, are fight, figuring it out with her and you have a protagonist who's fully capable to understand so it's fun it's fun um, and who wants to understand fast so she's just like running through understanding you know um, she's she's closed. She had this awful incident happen to her 10 years ago when her sister died, Rosa uh, who's played by Amber Midthunder, who's wonderful. She's on Legion. She's just a great actress. And we, she loses her and she runs away. She just closes up. She's lost her person, her older sister, her protector. And now she's someone who doesn't know how to connect. We like to say that she is a workaholic, and that's what she's been doing. She's just been studying. She's been working on studies, you know. And um, she's someone who has had a string of lovers, but no romance, no connections, you know. Mm -hmm. And here she is, reluctantly returning to her small town, and the first 
first person she contacts, literally as she's crossing the border into New Mexico, is Max Evans, the one person who can like tear, who opens her up like that. And it's her off the top. She's not a person who's good with intimacy. She's not intimacy. She's not a person who wants to be open like that. So the fighting of that, the like, I I can't be like that. I don't know how to do that. I I've been abandoned before, and that's her arc is trying to be at service to all the things she's a service of and taking care of all those people but also just like healing herself you know um it's so fun and it's at it's a nathan and i spend take it so seriously and spend so much time working on crafting them fully because they aren't teenagers you know they are adults and and that's complicated <laughs> yeah. so what's the personality trait um, characteristic that you most admire about this I love how she has no no fear in speaking her mind, you know. And um, this is my first time being the lead of a television series, and um, uh, I am grateful that it worked out in this way, and that I get to spend my day in that energy because I think it helps me be a little braver and a little. Um, uh, better at taking care of myself than I might have been otherwise, um, and at taking care of my cast and my crew, you know, and um, uh, being a leader, you know, it's crazy, it's crazy, but we're here. Um, so that I've, I've appreciated that about Liz, and I, I thank her for that because it is—it's amazing how it rubs off on you. It's like that, like power pose, which I can't do in this dress, but that, like, you know what I mean? How they tell you to like stand like that for ten seconds before you go in an interview. Like, I get to stand in her posture of that all day long, and then walk into a table read and go, "This feels like this needs to be more honest here to who she is," you know. And that's been a beautiful blessing. What about the political undertones to this? Yeah, show? can you just talk about that briefly? Yes, please. I mean, that's been. Um, Honestly, what brought me onto this show in the first place is that she was a woman of color in a leading role and that um, she, we were going to confront that and we were going to make it a part of our story, you know, acknowledge it. So sick of seeing, you know, people of color, particularly women of color in roles where it's not really mentioned or talked to or it's not really, and, and it, that's not true. It's not true to our experience. Like we, we experience our fullness every day. So like I experience the fact that I'm a woman every time I walk around a corner, you know, you know what I mean? And this is true for Liz in this series. Um, I, when I read the sides to this to this during pilot season, um, it was a scene in which she was talking to a character and uh, she was speaking her truth and she was speaking her mind. And he said to her, why are you being so combative? She said, I'm a Mexican-American woman in 2018. I engage in combat just by getting out of bed in the morning. And I thought, yeah, I'll take her. Thank you. I was like, yo, we're fighting for Roswell. I want this girl. Um, so that was awesome, you know, and, and and we've stayed true to that every episode since, which is something I try to have a very clear barometer for. Where I'm like, yo, she would call someone on that right there, you know. Um, it's so fun. It's so fun. We got asked earlier, like, if we had one word for the show, what would it be? And Nathan said, awake. And I think that's true. Yeah. Yeah. What, mm -hmm. what personality trait of yours do you, do you bring to Liz? Do I bring to Liz? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think... <laughs> Okay. I think, um, uh, oh man, you know what? I, I enjoy bringing physical strength to Liz, which comes from my like my background. So that's a personality, but I like that I can kick ass for her because she should be able to kick ass. 